This is Marku from eProgrammer.com. I'm going to talk about how can we use ODE technology to solve a um, complicated first order differential equation. This equation in here with the initial condition, which is uh, y is equal to one when time is equal to zero. Now. People ask like, what is the difference between the ODE23 and ODE45? Basically they are the same, except ODE45 would be more accurate, uh, but it would be slower than ODE23. However, in our case, even I call it, this, this one is a complicated first order equa equation. Oh yes, for sure, like if we solve it by hand, this is a complicated equation. But if we are using, it, using a computer, using MATLAB to solve it, it is a very very straightforward problem to, for MATLAB. So in in this case, uh, using ODE forty five or ODE twenty three doesn't make a big difference. Okay, now how can we use ODE twenty three to solve this problem? I have already typed up the the equation. I make a function called my fun one, and there are two variables t and y. T is the time and Y is the variable that we want to solve. And I have already put the equation in here for the calculation formula, which I copy from uh, from the work file. Uh, and then I converge, like I put it in a MATLAB syntax. And that is the equation. Okay, so we know the equation is, uh, we know the function is called my fun one. Okay, now I have to tell MATLAB, I'm going to use ODE 23 to solve this equation. How can we do that? Okay, TV1, F1, those are the output. ODE, ODE 23. Now, my fun one. Okay? Remember, uh, you need to follow the syntax. I want to calculate from zero to five with the initial condition one. Okay, well, that's it. I press enter and MATLAB has already finished the calculation. But I need to make the port in order to show you guys the result. Now, I make the port. And that's just the ODE, use, uh, that's just how MATLAB to solve like ODE 23 and then generate the port. And this is quite simple and straightforward.